So as we begin our Kriya today, we're going to warm up the spine. So you're going to grab onto your knees or grab onto your ankles, whatever is easiest for you. Me, I'm going to grab onto my ankles. You're going to inhale, you're going to push your chest forward as your shoulders go back. Now watch my head. It does not move. It doesn't lift up or down. It stays directly on top of my spine. We're going to exhale and relax back. Inhale, push the chest forward, the shoulders go back. Exhale and relax. Inhale and exhale. Close the eyes, breathing deeply in through the nostrils. We're going to do this for two minutes. This helps to warm up the spine. This helps to open up the heart. This helps to create vitality. Placing your hands directly underneath your buttocks to support your lower back. This time, we're, once again, we're going to work the lower chakras, again, to relieve depression and the blues and anxiety. We're going to pull the knees all the way in, all the way into the chest. This is what we call the bicycle move. So we're going to flex the feet alternating, pushing outward, pushing outward, bringing the knees into the chest, exhale, pushing outward. Again, this is a great exercise if you're feeling down or you have low energy, because if you take notice, you're pushing the energy from the feet with the movement through the core through the base of the spine, through the core, all the way up to the heart. You're kicking the energy all the way up. So get yourself a good pace here. Pick it up. Again, strengthening the core. We need a strong core to get through life. Go into this place in this sacred space with inside of you. That only you can go. For it's all about you and the healing of you. Making this connection on a very deep level. Feel the beauty that resides in your body just by moving, by pulsing. All of the cells are shifting. Feel the perfection of you. As the ego shifts away and it drops down into the Mother Earth, and recycles itself into love and self-acceptance, this place of contentment, non-judgment. <laughs> Hang on, just do the best you can. If the breath of fire becomes too much for you, go into long, deep breathing, but keep up and you'll be kept up because the mind is gonna want you to, to stop, to quit. It's gonna talk to you, talk back. Use the heart, persevere. You can do this. I'm doing this, you can do this with me. Go within. Feel the vibration moving through you. Feel the cells in your body as they dance. They've alive, they're awakened. Her Kundalini is about awakening the consciousness, about awakening our aliveness. Make this connection inward. Go into this sacred space and this sacred place with inside of you, the heart center. Take notice that your mind is quiet. It's in neutral. For we've worked from the negative aspect of our mind to the neutral aspect of our mind through breath. You're raising the energy up, feeling significantly different, feeling alive, vibrant, electric. Feel the energy within your body shifting and around your body as it's shifting. For you're changing the aura, the magnetic field, you're strengthening it. Go into this sacred space. make this connection with this stillness. <laughs>